Kathleen Stock, feminist philosopher. She speak, uh, spoke at the Oxford Union last night. She had to have three security guards to protect her because of uh, trans activists and threats against her. Um, that is untenable in, in this country, in a modern 21st century democracy, that we should have somebody who's just simply speaking, expressing their views, needing to have security on a effectively a university campus, although not specifically part of the, the university. Um, the views that she holds, we are told, are transphobic because she believes that men can't become women, women can't become men, and that women don't have penises. Um, are her views transphobic, or do you agree with her? I, I don't think using that, that term transphobic is, is helpful, and I, I don't think it should be the case. Is she right, though? The Kathleen... Well, look, I, I don't agree with uh, Kathleen Stock, for example, on her views on conversion therapy. I, I think it should be banned. I know she doesn't take that view, but I do think she should have the right in peace to uh, express those views at the Oxford Union if the officers of the Oxford Union wish to invite her, which they did. Now, of course, people can peacefully protest too, but of course she certainly shouldn't be uh, intimidated and she should be able to uh, express those views. And I hope we can, can all have this uh, debate in a more respectful way. Is she correct, though, that men can't become w women and women can't become men and women don't have penises? Is she correct? Well, yes or no? I, I, do you agree well, well, with look, her, or do you agree with your party leader, Keir Starmer? Well, look, I, I, look, let me just explain why, why I, I disagree. Because I think you disagree. That, look, Men, so women can the, have penises. I just want to clarify. The vast, well, hang on. Let me just explain. Uh, the, for the vast uh, number of people, of course, it, it is biology, right? It is biology. But not the others. We have gender. We have today the Gender Recognition Act that does allow. Uh, people who are born with, of course, with the biology they're born with, to go through a legal process mm -hmm. to have a different gender. That that process is there today for people to make. But they don't that. actually change their sex. So they but, don't. You but, don't. But if you problem, if you could go through that process, Nick, but you wouldn't become a woman, would you? No, no but, but you see, you'd still be a man. No, no, but the Gender Recognition Act does allow... You could be legally, le I think incorrectly, but legally legal recognised as a woman. But you wouldn't actually be a woman. Do you accept that, yes no, or no? no, no the, legal, the legal change is in our law now. and the, But let me just say... No, why, but, just, why don't you answer my question? Well, because I, I'm... Answering, by, the way, by the way, your press office is going to be furious with me, but, but you know, I'm allowed to ask these questions. Yeah, Julie, Would you become I'm a happy, woman? I'm always happy to come on and have this... Good. And have this Would you debate, become a woman? The point about uh, the yes point or no? It. It's a really easy question. If you if you signed up and said I've got gender dysphoria, I want to live as a trans woman, would you, after signing the gender, you know, all the going through all the processes that are legally in place right now, would you at that point become a an actual woman? If if you go, the today's position is that if you go through the process, that position. The gender recognition act, you do legally. If you are a biological man, you can go. You through are that legally process. treated well, as if you are a however, woman. However, would you actually is, become a woman? Is my question. You would, you would become a woman under that process. But let me just say, you about would become this. a woman. Very important. That process lacks dignity. And I've spoken to, to people within the trans community who say, for example, that as that process stands, you have to, for example, get permission from a spouse, if you have one, to make that change as part of the well, process. Well, yes, if, I, if my husband decided he wanted thing. to live as a woman, yes, I think, I think I might want to have a say in that, yes. Well, I, we will have to agree to this. We will have to. Agree. I just want to clarify. Just want to say, with Streeting, your shadow health secretary very sensibly says, you know, men have penises, women have vaginas. Simple as that. Uh, you agree with Keir Starmer, though. You believe that men can become women, women can become men, and it is possible for women to have penises. Although, as you say, not the majority of them. Is that right? Is that a fair categorisation of men, your views? Men have penises, women have vaginas. And do any women have penises? Final there question. Is, well, when I, I, I met someone from the trans community recently, I didn't frankly ask them that question. No, but you can but answer the question. Tiny, there is a tiny proportion of people, they're very discriminated against, they're Are disproportionately they? victims of hate crime. Are they? Um, yes, look are at the they? hate crime. Look at the hate crime statistics. Are they? they do, I'm afraid, are, are very high on them, and, mm -hmm. and but we'd all want to prevent. Finish the sentence. That. Let me finish the sentence. On on the issue of the Gender Recognition Act, there's that it's legal not... process now to make that change. We need to make that more dignified, but we also need to protect safe spaces as well and try to get. How consent. do you do both? If you think that some women have penises. 
Well, you do it by, for example, we, we can talk about the, the prisoner issue where you have to have those risk assessments to make sure that nobody who is a danger to women is in a woman's... What, even if it's a woman, but one of those weird women with a penis? You would still be able to make that individual risk assessment to make absolutely sure that women are not... OK, put... I'm going to ask you a final question. Nick Thomas, uh, do you seriously think that voters are going to put up with this when you run for the office? Uh, what I think is that when people are looking at so many different uh, issues... You hope they uh, forget about this. No, I certainly don't. I, I, I certainly don't. I think that the position of giving dignity to the trans community but protecting women's safe spaces is a perfectly sensible, reasonable position that I'm willing to do. Protecting to women from other women. Oh. I mean, that's the thing. Oh. Look, I know I'm going to have to let you go because we are so over time, and I do apologise for that. But you know what? If you'd given me a straight answer to the first question, we could have been done by 8.30. Nick Thomas, I hope you will come on the show again. Uh, Shadow International Trade Secretary. Um, I'm sorry to you, one of my executives, who's going to get an angry call from the Labour press office. They don't like me asking about women with penises. I don't know why. I think it's a really straightforward question.